write here point to uh, point to multi point we can do any any lab point to multi point after that we need to take the three router so i will take this three router one two three and we need to take the frame relay this is a frame relay i will press ok and then after that this is a r1 this is frame relay uh, this is r2 r3 and this port i will enable i will connect from here we need the serial interface so first of all i will go to the configuration in the slot i will add the serial this is a 40 is a serial okay i will go here also sorry i will go here i will click configuration slot i will add here 40 press ok here also i will go in the configuration and the slot 40 already we have so i think this one also having 40 yeah so all are having 40 now i will click this cable when you click this is a serial so serial 2 by 0 i will connect here no ports are available so in the frame relay we need to do the configuration so click here configure here frame relay is not having any ports just we can click add so it will come port 1 and port 10 it is coming whatever num value we have default value we can use same thing or if you want to change we can change also but anyhow i will take default value because generally this frame relay we are not going to configure and we are not configuring this one olden days they are using this one so they will put some values here or we can take the default value also so i will add the two port here now just click add and apply and ok so now we have two ports let's see now i will connect from serial 2 by here 1 after that i will uh, click here serial 2 by this port 2 and let me enable the port numbers and here i will go serial 2 by 0 to this port port 10 and if you see this is the serial 2 by 0 serial 2 by 0 serial 2 by 0 and let me power on this router i will say this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 okay and now which lab we are doing we are doing this one we can do anything i think we write the name as this one point to multi point we wrote here this one so we can do that one also point to multi point so what i will do first of all let me take the cli of the router cli of one cli of router two cli of the router three and this one no need this here i think i have uh, r1 is okay where is the cli two and three two is open or not yeah it is open already here okay let me take we have what we have three cli or one two let me open the three also so now we have three cli simple configuration i can write in the notepad also so let me save we already saved this one so let me take the new notepad here this is a lab for what we can say we can say lab for point to multi point and then here in the r1 we will write r1 configuration enable config t config host name r1 this is a basic after that we need to write interface let me minimize the console and if you see this is a serial 2 by 0 so i will write interface s 2 by 0 and then i will write here ip address whatever ip address we plan let me write here whatever ip schema we want to give we will give 192.168.1.1 okay and let me make this duplicate and this should be go here and here at last we will have the 1.2 okay 1.1 1.2 and i will take this one as a 1.3 also this one as a 1.3 1.3 so now we can do the configuration so where is our notepad so ip address i will write 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 i will write here no shirt this one okay after that what we need to do if you remember we need to write encapsulation encapsulation in c a p s u l a t n encapsulation frame relay frame relay because we are using frame relay technology so we need to write inside that router and then we write no shirt 
or already we write no shirt so no issue okay let me move this up or let me cut and put this here so directly we can copy and paste so this is the uh, s2 by 0 configuration and after that if you remember we told when we are doing the point uh, point to multi point we need to write ip ospf then we need to write network point to point to multi point right point to multi point and then we write here router os pf1 and then network we will write here 192.168.1.0 give space 0.0.0.255 and then we will write area 0 okay so this way we will enable the ospf here this is the network command we write uh, ip network and whatever the network id wildcard mass area zero so this is the r1 configuration and we can copy this one and we can paste uh, and we can modify first of all let me paste in the r1 and check all the configuration is okay or any error we are getting so see here what error we are having here enable config t okay spelling mistake in the config C O N F I G. Okay, now let me paste and check this one. I will paste here. Now it is okay. No error. So R1 is good. I will uh, copy this whole thing and I will paste for R2, and we will modify as per the R2 requirement. So let me go here, and whatever the R2, this should be R2, and here should be R2, and here this should be two and here this remains same okay because interface we are using same s2 by zero so this everything remains same here network id everything so i will copy everything is same here nothing change here right i will copy and paste in the two so let me log into the two and i will paste here everything is good now let me copy and paste in the r3 I will divide this notepad and I will write here for R3. So let me divide the notepad and I will write here R3. And let's modify this is a R3, R3, and this interface is same. Here should be R3 and remaining everything will remain same, right? I will copy and go to the router 3 and this one I will paste here. If you see everything is good now. We need to wait some time after that we can check the output we can check the output what is the command we need to use if you remember we need to use show ip ospf interface what is the serial serial 2 slash 0 okay so this one we need to check this is a serial let me move this one serial 2 slash 0 so if you check here what we have let me move this here here uh, here if you see network type point to multi point this one okay we done point to multi point and what is the timer this is the hello timer dead timer okay this is also correct let's compare here in our theory what we told here uh, hello timer dead timer network type is point to point and we will not have the drbdr so let's see here here you cannot see the drbdr anything here if you want we can write here also show ip osp of neighbor and we can check here why we have don't have the neighbor let me write here or let me write here we should have the neighbor show ip ospf neighbor yeah because in genus 3 something issue they are giving show ip ospf neighbor or show ip or the other way also we can check uh, let me show you they form the neighbor why they are giving no neighbor so let me check maybe they are taking some time yeah now it is there okay so they are taking some time now we have the neighbor but if you see here we don't have what we don't have dr and bdr so let me explain again what we are saying as per our notes we are saying this should be point to multi point so we check here where we check this one this one this is a point to multi point and we told the hello timer and dead timer will be 
120 and 30 so here hello is 30 120 this is also good and we told we will not have the dr and bdr so here we don't have the dr and bdr so our lab successfully done we